Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm using the AK-12, and uh, let me, I'm going to go ahead and start off by saying the M16 and the AK-12 are by far my favorite assault rifles. Mostly because, you know, they're classic, you know, if you think of assault rifles, these two are probably the first assault rifles that come to mind. And guns, and well for me, guns, when you say guns, I think of the M16 and the uh, AK, AK rifles. I keep wanting to say the AK-12, but uh, moving on. The AK-12, uh, starting off, has a uh, a rate of fire of 680, and it uh, which makes it pretty good at close to medium range. And uh, I guess you can kind of get some long range kills because it does have a three burst mode and on top of the uh, automatic and semi-automatic. So it's pretty good. It has all those three modes, and you know, if you uh, if one mode ain't working out for you, you can just switch to one. So I'm guessing close quarters would be for uh, fully automatic, semi uh, three three on burst for like uh, uh, let me see uh, medium range, and the semi automatic would obviously be good for uh, longer ranges because you don't have that much recoil for the you know the one shot. For my load, I'm gonna go ahead and post it on the on the uh, the screen here. I'm using the uh, the Cobra sight, muzzle brake, and the stubby grip. Like I said before, uh, usually the stubby grip and the uh, muzzle brake usually go together on most of my loadouts, which uh, is definitely not a bad thing because usually they complement each other. You know, they reduce the uh, recoil and stabilize and help you stabilize your weapon, especially for these weapons that uh, if they have no rec little to new recoil, you know, without these attachments, then definitely you could probably just, you know, murder people from across the map if you're, you know, really skilled like that with those, the, the weapons you're using. I definitely have to say that I'm kind of disappointed in the look of this weapon. Uh, mostly just the color scheme. Like, if it was all black, it'd be fine. Like, I've seen pictures of it in real life, and it's, I think it's all black. But, like, they may, for some odd reason, like, every variant of the, uh, AK-12 in this game is kind of odd looking, I mean in color. Like the AK-12 itself isn't bad, but it's not really what I would have wanted if I would have been the one picking the colors. Like uh, the magazine is actually like red and like there's like, I want to say the front of it is actually uh, also red. It's kind of weird. And then like you get to the uh, DV, I think it's D. BV is the shotgun variant. Uh, you have to, it's like orange, I think. Like all orange, and that just looks ugly. I mean, I do apologize for actually talking about the, the look of the gun and not how it's used. I can just like uh, talk about how, what guns should look this way, what guns should look that way, and it's just uh, something I can talk about. I, I mean, uh, I don't know why, but I'm probably the only one who actually cares about like the first person model and how the guns look and you know, you gotta have that good heads up display, you know. For me, if uh, if a game looks ugly to look at then you probably don't wanna play it. Just my two cents. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I do apologize for the background footage. Um uh, I'm gonna go ahead and blame it on the uh my thumb. I actually uh, cut it earlier and I had to uh, you know put a band-aid on it so it's kinda being hard to uh, push around my uh, left thumbstick and click it in so I'm gonna go ahead and blame the uh, lack of lack of good kills in the background footage on it so uh, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and like favorite subscribe comment and uh, I'll see you